everybody and welcome back to another episode of Cassiel Talks. This week I'm going to share with you a game that is on Kickstarter right now actually. It is called Landed by Argyle Games. Landed is a game that uh, is a tile placement game and the story behind it is you are a company that is terraforming new planets out in space and you're trying to get the most contracts that have the most valuable points signed with your terraforming company and that's how you win the game is by getting the most contracts. Landed is a game that plays for two to four players. It lasts about 30 to 45 minutes give or take and for me it feels kind of like a Carcassonne style game because there's tiles that you draw uh, at random and you're placing them and then you have instead of meeples you have little cubes that you place on them and then you turn those into points and it just gave me a little bit of a Carcassonne feel and I love tile placement games. So I was super excited to find out about another new tile placement game that was out. So without further ado, I'm gonna share with you all Landed by Argyle Games. All right, everybody, here is Landed. Uh, we got this really cool looking box. I've got all of the pieces spread out here. And kind of like what I said earlier, the story behind Landed is you are a terraforming company and you're going to a planet and you're trying to complete contracts. Um, you complete the contracts using these things here, which are land tiles. These are the contracts themselves. Uh, sorry, go ahead and put that in here. There's different kinds of minerals that you can terraform, uh, different colors, all different kinds there. We have these tiles over here that are special tiles I'll explain later called wonder tiles. We have four of these cool player reference mats and they've got these cool little planety things looking on the back. Right here we have our different color cubes and these cubes basically represent the different players. So whatever color you choose is the color of cubes you would get. We have this really cool scoring track. There's one side and then there's the other side. You can use whichever side you like to keep track of everybody's score, but that's pretty cool that they give you the two-sided option. And we have our cool little velvety bag here that comes with the land tiles. So that's pretty much all the pieces to landed. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how, uh, actually I'm gonna go ahead and set the game up and then I'm gonna show you how to play the game. All right, so now that I've got the game set up, let me show you what I have done here. Uh, we have our start tile here, which is placed in the center, and our starting player has been chosen, which is uh, actually in the rulebook, it's kind of funny. The way you choose your start player is the person who has most recently visited another planet is the start player. Obviously, there's not gonna be anybody at the table that has most recently visited another planet, unless we have some aliens walking among us. So then the actual star player is the one who has most recently looked through a telescope. And if still no one, you can flip this over, use this arrow, spin it around, pick somebody. Anyway, so we have our star player, we've got our stuff sorted out. What we have here is everybody's gotten cubes that represent their terraform company, and they have them in their own color. So we are green, we've got red and yellow here. Next we have um, the same color of our cubes over here on the scoring track, everybody's at zero points. We have our contracts here, and I have mine face up just so I can show you an example, but you would want to keep them face down because that's secret. You don't want people to know what kind of things you're looking to terraform. And then we have our land tiles here, and we also have our player reference cards. So we are pretty much ready to go. We have our start player, and let's see what our tasks and availabilities are. So on your turn, you can do uh, one of three actions. The first one is terraform, and that's where you take one of these land tiles here and then you place it in the center of the table, touching uh, one of these other tiles. And the way you decide what tile you wanna place, cause see they have all different kinds of miner blah, 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 materials or minerals that you could choose from, you have to take a look at your contracts. So the contracts tell you how you're gonna get points and how you're gonna get the most of those points. This contract, for example, is if you're going to terraform, what does that say? Amatrine Desert. So if we have three tiles on the table and three of those tiles that are touching have this Amatrine touching, and you are the first person to choose to terraform and then place your cube, which are these little cube things here, onto those tiles, you get the gold. That is six points. If you are, uh, is that what that says? Yeah. If you um, were the second person to choose to place a cube on these sets of Amatrine Desert, you would get the silver because you're second place, silver is second place, you would get the three points. So the best thing is to see what we've got here. We've got blue and brown, that's the best way for me uh, is to go by color because they have some pretty fun, silly little spacey names. So we have Amatrine and then we've got this Tanzanite. 
take a look at what we've got. We have some blue and we've got some brown and these are actually double sided so we can always take a look at the other side and see if that's more beneficial. It doesn't really matter which one we choose I would say at this point but let's go ahead and choose one of these as a star so I can tell you how the stars work. So I've picked our tile, we're gonna place it down and whatever you place, it doesn't have to actually match. So just so you know, I ended up matching it like that. So blue was touching blue because that's beneficial for us. But if it wasn't beneficial for us, we could take this, place it right here. Or if we see someone trying to build on blue, we could always do that to prevent them from doing so. So it doesn't really matter what sides are touching, um, except for when you're trying, you know, you know, depending upon your motive, really. So our motive is to get points. We have blue touching blue. Now let's say we had another tile here that already had a star on it and we did tile with a star touching another tile with a star. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, here, let me zoom that in for you so you can see there. So we've got our tile with our star touching our tile with our star. And what happens is this is called a new world wonder. So you have these two touched, you get one of these wonder tiles. And the wonder tiles let you do a free action at any point during any of your turns and you can only do one action or one uh, wonder tile per turn. If you choose not to do these, then they're worth two points at the end of the game, but they let you do whatever action it says on here. So this one says score. There are other ones that like this one says redesign, and these are just actions that we'll get to later in the game. But I wanted you to be able to see that that was going to be an option. Let's do another example. Let's say we terraformed and then, you know, everybody did their turn and gets back to us and we choose to terraform again. And we're going to terraform with another one of these blue tanzanite ones. We put it here and we decide, you know what? We want to go ahead and cash in this three right here, be the first one so we get these four points on our contract. So we let's go ahead and see how that works. So we've placed our second tile here doing our terraforming action. And we decide, you know what? We want to go ahead and terraform. We take our cube here and we place it on there and we claim it essentially. But placing this here, we have claimed it as number one. We take a look at here. First of all, we take a look and see how many tiles make this up. If you can see here, it's made up of three tiles. It doesn't matter how much of the tile makes it up, but we've got this tile here, two and three. So that's the three tiles. That's why we get to use the three tile scoring on the contract. So we take a look at our contract. For the three, we get four points because we are number one at that location and we move our die, or our cube, I'm sorry, up to the four. Now that we have placed our cube here, we don't get it back. Um, so it can be pretty tricky trying to figure out when is a good time to place your cubes because you might want to, instead of going just for the low points on there, you might want to go for these big points here, like getting those 11 points by waiting to put two more tiles down. The thing is only two players can claim the same section. So if you decide to press your luck, another player might come along and claim it and then you're not gonna be able to get what you needed. Once you score your contract, you also get to do this special uh, ability on the bottom of it. And this says take another turn, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and see what those other actions we can do now that we've done so much terraforming. So that second action that I mentioned of the three actions you can do on your turn was plan development. And the way plan development works is you take your bag and you draw up to enough tiles so you have four total. Some contracts will allow you to have more than four tiles, but unless you have those contracts, you are stuck with a hand size of four tiles. The last action you can do out of the three is sign contracts. And the way sign contracts works is you take three of these contract cards here. You choose one at least, um, up to two if you'd like, to keep and then the remaining you put on the bottom of the deck and you can only have up to a max of three contracts that are unfulfilled at any time that's basically the game and the way the game ends is the last person to draw a tile out of the bag is going to be the last player to take a turn so if i'm the last player i draw a tile and then my opponents get to take one more action and then i take the final action if at the end of the game um you can't do any scoring or terraforming or you don't have any tiles or contracts in your hand you're allowed to just score two points as your action but then you can only do that at the end of the game at this point, once the game's ended, you see who has the most points on the score track. You see if anybody's got any unused wonder tiles, they get an extra two bonus points at the end of the game for the unused ones. And whoever gets the most points is the winner. Now, in the case of the tie, at some point, if you cannot break this tie, you must agree to just both half win, but both half lose. 
But that shouldn't be a problem. You're busy terraforming. You've got these scores under control. Now with those wonder tiles, there are seven different actions that you could possibly get with these wonder tiles. Um, so I'm not going to go into all of them. You'll have to take a look at the game and check out the rules on the Kickstarter page. And there are also some explanations about how to keep score and whatnot. So I definitely encourage you to take a look at this game on Kickstarter, take a look at the rule book and check it out. So that was Landed by Argyle Games. Pretty cool. I like what I was saying about the Carcassonne thing is, you know, you gotta draw stuff and it's random. You have to place your cubes, which are kind of like the meeples on the things. The only thing is, this is more like, I guess in uh, Carcassonne, you've got that farming aspect where you don't get your meeples back. So that's what this kind of made me think of. But I mean, I really enjoy the game. If you like space, if you like placement, tile placement, if you like uh, scoring slowly, and you like accumulating points at the end of the game, so it's kind of like a surprise as well. I mean, this this game is just really good, and I've had a lot of fun playing this game. All right, everybody, so that was Landed. I hope you liked the walkthrough that I did with you. It's a really fun game. You can tell how I was talking about it's kind of like Carcassonne with the tile placements, and then you have to place the meeples in the various areas on the, on the board. The game all over was really entertaining for me, and I'm really happy that it's on Kickstarter right now. I have backed it, and um, if you like this overview, go ahead and check it out on Kickstarter, and if it looks really fun for you, please go ahead and back it. For more information about Landed, you can check it out down below, and you can also find more information about Argyle Games down below. If you like this video and you want to see more of my videos, I am on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. You can like, share, and subscribe. And you can also find me at my website, CassieL.com. Thanks for watching Cassiel Talks. This is Cassie signing out with Landed by Argyle Games.